looking for magic cards at flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 and you also get automatically entered into the M20 booster box giveaway which runs until July 15th. So for those that aren't aware how this works you can cast spells from your hand without paying their mana costs and then you also get to add 5 mana every turn for activated abilities and stuff. Get to play with War of the Spark this time so usually card draw spells are at their best and there might be some hidden combos that we can explore. I've seen um, Rescuer Sphinx plus 3 mana Teferi is kind of a, a combo that lets you draw your entire deck since you get to rescue Teferi, play Teferi, bounce Rescuer Sphinx and draw a card with each loop. So that's one way to make an infinite combo. I'm sure there's going to be more that we haven't seen yet. Alright, so first pack. Any card draw spells? Not really. Awakening probably doesn't work if there's no lands to target. Uh, I've got Visionary which can loot, but it's pretty slow. Gotta untap with it before it gets going. I guess Grizzly can do some stuff. Get to play it and then for 4 mana, using 4 of the 5 mana, it can find a creature. Although I'm guessing we mostly are gonna end up with as many card draw spells as possible, which makes the ability a little bit less powerful, but it might be the best card we have here. Let's take the Grizzly. Kazmina can loot, which is nice. Uh, Flourishing can dig pretty deep into our deck, but it can only find permanent cards, so it doesn't find any card draw spells. Um, Toll is discard, which is nice. Although if you're on a draw, sometimes the opponent's going to be empty-handed, so then it doesn't do anything. Spark Harvest is probably playable but unexciting, so I think it's probably Kazmina. It's us or them. I hope you I've got Toll for Discard. Spellkeeper Weird can do some stuff. I guess Defiant Strike Cantrips, that's true. Just need a creature in play. So maybe Defiant Strike is the pick. It's a little awkward needing a creature in play first with some hands. But we really want to like have as many cantrips as possible. So I guess the fine strike fits the bill. And I'm not too excited about any of these other cards. A the Fallen could be okay. Lots of the plating seems good against discard. Uh, Spark Reaper, I guess, can be pretty good if you have some creatures to sacrifice to draw cards. So that's an option. Although you can only activate it once per turn since you only have 5 mana. So you can draw infinite with this. We already have a Kazmina, so Aid of Fallen could be okay. Let's do Aid. And alright, easy Guild Globe here. Only card that cantrips. Don't think there's any other considerations. How good is Sarkin's Catharsis? Is it a good finisher? 5 damage is quite a bit. Manticore or Catharsis? Yeah, Manticore is a lot of power and toughness. If we have enough card draw, then Catharsis can be a good way to close out the game. Not sure which is better. Defiant Strike wants us to have some creatures, same with Aid the Fallen, and also the Grizzly. So given the synergies in our deck, I'm kind of leaning towards just taking the big dumb creature instead of the Catharsis. And then between Crocodile and Manticore, I'm guessing Manticore is still better. So I'll take the Manticore. Now there's a Reaper for card draw, Plating against this card, and then Dam Breaker. I've got a few synergies with it, and it looks like we're gonna go with the Reaper. No card draw here, so now I'm guessing we want a Plating. Protect us from discard and, remo and removal. So here's a bolt bend, which could redirect some stuff. Is it better than just a random primordial worm? Oh, it's stole of the invasion, only target opponent, never mind. It does work on Davriel's ability, I remember, that targets a player. It is good against the discard too, it doesn't work against Toll. Still works on removal spells, but it also requires the opponent to have a target in play. Probably just take the worm, since we want more permanence for our various synergies. I guess I'll take the Manticore. 
And now we could either take Operative, that can sneak in for some damage if the opponent only has big stuff, Martyr for proliferate synergies, or Legionnaire since it plays well with Defiant Strike. Let's try the Operative. Now we can take the Crocodile. Stinger. So there doesn't seem to be a ton of card draw in this set compared to some other sets, which means that it's probably going to end up more often than not with just playing big creatures. Here's a giant, which is probably the best card, since it draws a card and puts a body in play. Can play some with and then play two big creatures, attack right away. Is time to any good? Seems medium. Um, so yeah, I, th I think we're looking at giants, maybe some wood for the combo potential. And maybe, I mean, giant is strictly better than guild globe, I think. So yeah, it's between probably Samut and Giants. I think I like Giant more. Obnixilus, how good is this? I guess it's good against decks that try to draw a ton of cards. And we can always destroy our own creatures. We have quite a few token makers with the invading manticores. So let's take Obnixilus. Unfortunately for you, we meet in battle. And there's Contentious Plan that cycles. So that's appealing. Uh, no escape could be okay. Blind Blast also cantrips. But this is a bit more conditional than the Contentious Plan, and Proliferate is probably better than preventing a creature from blocking. So I'm guessing Contentious Plan for now. Bond could be reasonable. Otherwise, Pegasus could give her big dudes flying. Yeah, New Horizon sadly doesn't do much when you don't have a land to enchant. So Bond could be good with Kazmina discarding creatures. If we sack one of our creatures to Obnixilus, we can get it in the graveyard. And if our opponent makes us discard, that also works. Let's try the Bond. This doesn't really do much, since the opponent can add 5 mana every turn, so they can easily pay for 2. So what do we have? There's a discard 2, there's a counter spell, there's a removal spell that proliferates. Don't have a ton of proliferate synergies, but a few. I've got two planeswalkers already. This can prevent shenanigans from the opponents. This can discard, but it's pretty bad if you're on the draw. Kind of liking the veto over the strike, but not entirely sure there. So Blind Blast is the only card that cantrips. Otherwise, there's another Catharsis. Didn't pick the first one. That's a potential way of finishing out a game. Didn't think there's much else. So I think I take the cantrip. How good is God Pharaoh's statue? Probably not very. I mean, I guess it's okay. If you play this on turn one, then the opponent can't play all three spells in, f in the first turn. And all the cantrips become a lot worse, since they have to pay two additional mana from the five they have. So I'm guessing statue is playable. Otherwise, it's just a big creature, which would be probably the manticore over the crocodile. We'll try statue. Probably taking the bonds. It's either that or totally lost, but bond seems okay in our deck. Most of our cards are permanents. Can find our planeswalkers as well. Bit of life gain. Easy globe. And how good is Neoform in our deck? Looking at the mana costs. It's not a ton of creatures to bridge the gap here. So it's probably not great. Could either take the stealth mission to maybe get a big attack in with one of our large creatures. Operative that can maybe sneak past a big blocker from the opponent. Force landing as removal for flyers, but there's not too many of those. Kind of liking the stealth mission more than operative. And alright, interesting choice. Can take a bit of life gain to counteract opponent's catharsis. Can take our own catharsis or can take the worm as a big creature. I think I probably like the worm more. I guess Sergeant might not be horrible. Giving Vigilance if you've got a bunch of big creatures out means you can attack and be able to block. Populous probably doesn't matter enough. Take the discard spell. Don't think Razor's gonna make the cuts. Ooh, the fairy seems great since it draws a card. Anything else that stands out? 
How good is Redemption? I guess Redemption could also be okay. If you've got a bunch of death cards in hand. So it's kind of funny that Redemption becomes playable in Omniscience Draft. But I'm guessing Teferi's still better. I am not going to sit this one out. Uh, Alright, Easy Epiphany. This is probably the best card in this format, uh, is my guess. There's a Defiant Strike we can wheel. Now we can take the Giants. More card draw. Finally doesn't do anything. The Wonder can also be playable. I guess Honor the God Pharaoh is pretty good too. Is it better than Giants? Probably not. Like this is a free card draw and a 4-5. Like sure this can replace a dead card into an actual card, but it doesn't necessarily put us up a card. So I think I take Giants. Wonder would also be okay since we've got 8 the Fallen, but... I'm just gonna take every card that says draw card on it. If that's an option. So I'll take the globe. Uh, I guess this maybe is an interesting pick. Honor versus globe. Yeah, Weird can get back Epiphany. Although we have to untap with it first. So I'm still gonna prioritize the uh, card draw spells before it, but if we didn't have Honor or globe, I would probably take the Weird. Yeah, we could take one Honor to replace a bad card. It's probably better than globe. Take another Honor over some random stuff. Probably the contentious plan here. We're gonna be pretty vulnerable to an opposing God Pharaoh statue with all these cantrips, but so be it. Easy giants. Another honor. E the redemption wield. Nice. Don't say that every day. And I'm guessing time twist to go with all these Tithe Bear Giants. And nothing here. Alright, more Defiant Strikes. That's good. Alright, so we get to make only two cuts. So I'm guessing our Boreal Grazer. And what else? Maybe the forced landing, maybe return to nature. Although return to nature can destroy opposing god for statues, which we're kind of vulnerable to. So it might actually be better than one of these other cards. Forced landing, return to nature. Operative. Yeah, the discard can be pretty bad if we're on the draw, but it's okay if we're on the play. So I don't hate it. It's probably better than one of these. Sergeant's also pretty bad. Cut the landing. Alright. So we'll try this. Sadly can't choose our basic land art. Alright. Let's see how this uh, plays out. I'm curious. Alright, so how do we start? Probably honor discarding Grizzly. And then we have a target for Defiant Strike. Got plating to protect, so we'll strike first. Let's uh, bond. Yeah, Grizzly could actually be reasonable. Alright, well, our game plan is play some big creatures and then plating for protection. We'll see how this plays out. We could attack for 11 damage next turn. I guess we could also play it as a combo trick, but I think we want to keep it in hand. Hmm. Not sure if I even want to cast this Honor the God Pharaoh, since plating could actually be pretty decent. We'll start by attacking. Send Manticore and Worm. Alright. 
Do we have another combo trick? Unlikely aid. Alright, I guess it works. I think I still hang on to the plating. That's fine. And then next turn, if we draw a band card, we can honor to grow our token up to a 4 4. So, how good is Statue? It does give us a win condition. Potent still has two cards in hand. So, Statue could be okay. It's probably not amazing, so it could be okay to discard it to the honor here, I think. We want to string together some Tithebearer Giants. If they have a counterspell, that's kind of bad for us. Alright, Blind Blast isn't bad. Alright, opponent has a plating as well. So that could have been a reason to target our own creature, but I actively wanted this to not block. I guess we're going face. Although if this becomes a 5-5, that's not great for us. So there's also an argument for attacking Angrath here. If we attack Angrath with just a Massacre, they probably double block. We get to kill Cyclops. I don't know. Not sure here. I think I'm just gonna go face. Opponent takes it. Augur does get quite a bit better in Omniscience Draft. Ooh, wow, Bond of Insight. This card's insane. Opponent gets to return. Rolls Outbursts, Wonder Strike. Goes for the Defiant Strike instead. Needs some pretty good top decks, like... Triple Tithe Bear Giants, I guess, could be a good start. Wow, Sword and Two. That explains why they are okay racing. They also have Menace. Yeah, it would have been reasonable to discard the plating as well instead of the statue. Statue would have been pretty good this turn, not letting them cast all those cantrips. Alright, I guess we have plating. 7 day plus, they have to target themselves. Alright. Could make one of our 5 power creatures 6 power, so it kills Soren by itself. But that also requires us drawing a removal spell, which we don't have many of. Alright, what does this do for us? Can get back Worm with haste. Block, take 15, it's not quite lethal. We can get back a Grizzly and then start activating it. Maybe that's the way to go here and gain card advantage that way. Take action. Maybe I should have targeted one of the five powered creatures here. Also don't want to die on the backswing. Something like this. And I'll hang on to Kazmina until we can discard a card with it. Could also make a 2-2. Two -two. 
Oh, maybe it's fine. Make sure we don't die. Alright, this wasn't going to be very good either. So that's fine. Can also grizzle in the opponent's turn, I guess. Are we dead? They can weird back the catharsis next turn. That's fine. On tap. Globe, play globe. The one life could start mattering here since our opponent can catharsis and a Sorin also pings us. Ooh, hello. Alright, what do we want? Probably not those. Reaper could gain us some life. So don't hit it. Don't have many cards remaining. All right, can loot that one away. I think I actively want a Reaper, or I can just Reaper main phase sacking a token. Could also sack us me now, maybe that's the play. Time twist could be okay. I guess this can trade off. Alright. Seems fine. And then we can still use our uh, Reaper in the opponent's turn to gain one life as well if we have to. What do they reveal? Nothing. Do we even have lethal next turn? If we attack with everyone? Probably not. Bond of Passion. Uh, I guess that probably kills us. Two damage to us. Can sack a creature to the Reaper. I guess we were still at one life, because they can weird back. I guess they could also weird back the Bond of Passion. I guess maybe we should have used a Reaper in response here, because now that we're at five, they can respond with weird, get back Catharsis if we ever use a Reaper. All right, never mind, they're sorting too. All right, so we should be dead here. All right, GG's. All right, what do we think of this opener? It's not great, but probably keepable. Don't really want a mulligan in this format almost ever. Probably have a better target for that Dovin's Veto here. Want to counter the bigger card draw spells like this one. Nice two for one. All right, so that's went pretty well for us. Not one of our best cards, let's put it that way. Don't even think I'm playing it in case we draw Honor the God Pharaoh. 
so we can discard it. Ooh, it's pretty spicy. Not sure if it's necessary to play Sergeant here, but... Yeah, I guess Kiora is actually pretty good now that I think about it more. Definitely try and kill it, hope they block Manticore. Alright. Could have not attacked with the token. Was hoping they would uh, block the Manticore. Drawing all the sergeants isn't great. Probably keep that one in hand. Well, that was a good draw. Creature and draw with Kyora. They can kill the fairy. I think I keep the Loxodon in hand to discard to honor, but I will attack with the rest. And probably all at Kiora, which is a bit drastic, but otherwise it's just gonna draw them too many cards. And now we can play the Stinger second main. Got Bond to get back a creature, although we don't really want to get back the sergeant. Put Keith's card on top. Ooh. I think in their spot I probably would have held on to the no escape since it's not like uh, Cross Stinger is that much of a threat. At least we dealt with Kiora. Yeah, now that I think about it, Kiora's actually pretty busted. Skulker also isn't bad when you can activate it for free every turn. So we could sack the Manticore and then get it back with Bond. Probably just start by sacking the token. See what we can find, although we're probably dead next turn. So I think we got a sack and hope. That's not it. Can bond back. Sergeants. I guess that's the play. We don't have the mana to sack again with the Reaper, sadly. Can do it in the opponent's turn. I think we just need an extra blocker to survive. But in the opponent's turn we can plating chump and sack. Can't even double block with the troll in play. So we kind of drew all the worst cards in our deck. Sergeant's probably one of our worst cards. Sack with all. Can double block sadly. So I think this is it and then sack the zombie.
that's how things need to start. Eventually we need to find an answer for the Skulker. Alright, that's actually pretty good. Could also Sag Giant get... yeah, that's probably better. Sag Giant. And then get back Giant with Aid the Fallen. As well as the Fairy. See what else we draw. If we draw something bad, we can discard to honor. That's a redraw. But I guess all the rest is better redraws. So we'll honor first so we can proliferate onto the token. Could also bounce first with the fairy, I guess. Could bounce the token or we could bounce the skulker. I think we just honor discarding Time Twist for now. Heartwarming Redemption. Cantrip first, get a bit of value. Can play some big stuff. Although Worm trades for the Troll, but the Skulker is a problem here. I think we need to dig for an answer. Bond gains us a bit of life. Take another giant, I guess. So we're starting to go off. Alright. Probably just keep honor. Not sure what we're drawing towards, to be honest, but... Another giant's not bad, I guess. On our discard operative. Alright, there's our answer for Ashok. So we can Blind Blast for the redraw. That doesn't do much. Yeah, I guess we don't need to play up Nixilis right now anymore since we're at 9. Just play Grizzly. Do we play up Nixilis, or do we just save it in hand? I guess we can save it in hand, and then just uh, pass the turn for now, and then we can use Grizzly in the opponent's turn. Well, that was not a bad turn. A statue doesn't lock them out the game completely, but it prevents them from like going off, casting multiple spells in the same turn, since they can still have five extra mana, so now they still have three mana left. But it does prevent a turn like we just had. Alright, fair enough. So we can return to nature own statue, so they don't get to draw the card. I think that's worth it. Yeah, pretty flavorful play here. Define Strike. Yeah, I guess probably playing up Nixilis just for the one drain when they draw a card or when they go off could have been worth it. But because we had Statue, I figured that they can't really go off anyway. Or rather, up Nixilis would not deal that much damage and saving him could have been worthwhile. But 
Oh wait, we could actually block the Skulker. Whoops. Yeah, they they had to use the mana for the statue, so they actually didn't have the mana to make this unblockable. Sack the fairy. Still not dead. Alright, can we kill them? If we Obnixilus kill Troll, attack with everyone. Alright, they're just dead. Uh, sure. Alright, so they have some counter spells. Or some instance at the very least. Hopefully this doesn't get countered. We'll bounce our own giants. And now we don't need to worry about any instance. Reaper sack token seems good. Could also sack the fairy. I think I would rather keep the fairy. And do we keep going off? Yeah, probably. Don't need to worry about removal here because of the fairy. Alright, so not the best first turn, but also not the worst. Let's see how our opponent responds here. Grizzly finds Worm. End of turn, I might sack something to the Reaper here, maybe the token. Alright. Haral could do some scary things. Uh oh. If this is an epiphany incoming, we're probably dead. I want to make sure to sack the fairy if they try and kill him, but I, I guess him he's still alive for now. But if they target the fairy again, we can sack it to the Reaper. So that's targeting to fairy. Reaper sack. All right. So the redemption, but then they have to discard their hand again. So doubling it doesn't do much unless they drew into an instant. I guess it just digs them one card deeper. Alright, discard two, fair enough. I guess I should hmm, I should have returned to nature one of their cards in the graveyard in case they have like a reanimate spell. Although it's probably not too relevant. Alright. Are they gonna kill their own operative? They are. Well, our opponent seems to be going off harder than we did. We're out of mana, so we can no longer use the Spark Reaper. Alright. So probably want to start by trying to kill Obnixilus, and then we can draw with the Spark Reaper and then Honor in our second main. So let's move to combat. Topple the worm. Sure. Don't think I'm sacking it in response. Think we send the big boys. I guess we could do it like this, send the two big boys at Obnixilus and then Croc and the 2-2 at Ral. 
That seems fair. Don't think I want to attack with the Reaper, as it's a pretty important card engine. Although if they block there, then they would lose both Planeswalkers. It's kind of close, I guess. Let's do it like this. They could also have more removal in hand. So they're gonna save Rawl, put up Nixilus dice, and we get to sacrifice the zombie. Lose a bit of life from Obnixilus, but then when we honor, we no longer have to lose life from Obnixilus. Opponent gets Giant back. Opponent can also Grizzly end of turn. I guess we would rather honor just to get the token for the Reaper. All right, all right. Do we like the statue? It's not terrible, especially with her all in play. And then Grizzly has her own card dungeon. Do this first, so that if they do have some spells they want to cast, then they can't use the Grizzly anymore. No creature really that I want to get back at the moment. So we'll just play Grizzly. Pass. We've already used our mana for the turn. And then next turn we can either sack to the Reaper or activate the Grizzly. Opponent misses on Grizzly. These games are going a lot longer than the ones in Dominaria, that's for sure. A lot less card draw to, like, go off and kill the opponent on turn one. So that does make the format a bit more interesting, at least. Although there's also a few cards that, like, do nothing in this format, like... cards that target lands, for example. Stealth Mission Giants. They're gonna try and burn us out. Minus Rawl. Whoa, oh. If they have a Catharsis, we're dead. The copy doesn't count for the statue. I guess that makes sense. It's only spells you cast cost two more. So the copy still resolves without having to pay two extra. All right, I guess we're dead now. Can gain one life from the Reaper. It's not enough. Hey, the Fallen's not gonna do it. All right, GG's. Yeah, Herald's pretty good in this format. A lot of powerful instants. And since you don't have to pay mana, you can play Raal and copy something right away instead of having to wait and untap. Alright, so we're 1 and 2. Hopefully we can pick up some more wins. This hand is about as bad as it gets. Sure. It's not great, but... So we can define strike first to see whether or not we want to discard Manticore or something else. Definitely something else. Well, we both had pretty bad draws here. I think I keep Sergeant in hand for another Honored God Pharaoh. Or the heartwarming redemption. Don't think it adds much to this board. Ooh, Grizzly, that's a good one. Grizzly's been pretty impressive. So is the Spark Reaper, just as value engines. Yeah, 
guess we'll play it. Opponent can double block Worm with Dam Breaker and Eternal, but then maybe the Manticore and the Giant can start attacking. So I think it's worth it to send the Worm. Alright, don't really get the single block unless they've got like a Blind Blast or something. But since they grizzly, they couldn't blind blast because of statue. So maybe they messed up. Statue is better than I, I thought it would be. Especially since there's like so many mana sinks with Reaper and Grizzly that you can can no longer use if the statue's in play. It is pretty laughable in the face of a topple the statue though. Alright, so let's Teferi. Probably bouncing our own giant. Although then we can no longer attack with it. That's probably fine. Giant's not doing much here anyway. Could be a nice trick. So I think I'll play the Reaper. Still hold on to Sergeant in case of Honor God Pharaoh or Redemption. But now we can also send in the Manticore and maybe Define Strike as a trick here. So they're probably gonna sack the Naga Eternal. And I play the Reaper first in case we need to sacrifice a creature in response to removal. And because of statue, they can only do one thing. Play a spell, use Reaper or use Grizzly. And then we can kind of ping them to death with statue and Omnixilus here. So we'll play Omnixilus and then probably just kill the Grizzly. Could also kill our own creature to draw cards. Not entirely sure. Because because of statue, these utility creatures aren't all that amazing anyway. So could also just pass a turn and not use Obnixilus or use it on our own creature on the token, for example, to draw some extra cards. I think that's fine. Because Mina can also discard a sergeant. Um, could sack the fairy to the reaper, see what we draw. All right, let's keep going. Uh, a the fallen seems great. These can probably go. I'm sure there's a creature we can get back. Hmm, I guess it's just a sergeant, but that's fine. Still a two for one. And then the redemption has an extra card for us to discard and draw cards with. So we'll Teferi. Bounce our giants. Play the giants. And... Could also, like, not heartwarming redemption yet and just keep up Dovin's Vita, which is probably pretty safe. But our opponent has seen enough. Alright, well, once we start going off, it's pretty sweet. Alright, I guess we'll keep. Got our two utility creatures, don't really want to draw both, but at least we've got a bit of redundancy. Start with... I guess Grizzly, activate Grizzly, makes more sense. Nice. It's one of the good ones. Alright, can definitely play up Nixilus. I guess we'll play up Nixilus. Then Contentious Plan. Get a bit of proliferate value. 
Ooh, Aid of Fallen could be great too. So probably just play Reaper and pass. Don't really want to kill any of our own creatures with Omnixilus quite yet. But just having it in play is useful. And then we can Grizzly in the opponent's turn as well. Yep, Nixilus doing some damage here. <laughs> Knowledge is not without pride. Topple. It is just a small headache. Alright, Reaper's not bad. Although at least we're offsetting the life gain with Obnixilus. Outburst, that's fine. That was almost impressive. Doesn't count as card draw. This does. Try not to think too <laughs> Obnixil is doing some serious damage here. Alright, looks like our opponent's either out of cards or wants to sacrifice some stuff. Alright, time to empty their hand and let the dust settle. And of turn we'll use Grizzly. Take action. Ooh, statue. Alright, so we can... The fairy could bounce their griffin or we could bounce their own giant. Kind of like bouncing my own giant more. Do we attack first? I guess that's reasonable. How does our opponent block? If we get to kill the griffin, that's not bad. They could triple block with reaper, creature, and assailant, but then killing reaper is pretty good too. So I think I like attacking with the giant. And then if they kill the giant, we bounce the griffin. If they don't kill the giant, we can just... Bounce the Giants. So they're gonna block and sack. That's fine. Should have maybe played Statue first. In case they had any instance shenanigans. Or maybe Teferi first. They both prevent shenanigans to an extent, but I think I would rather resolve Teferi. Can make him discard two. It's probably fine. Could also minus Obnixilus and then make him discard two. Maybe that's better. All right, I guess we'll do that. Kill Griffin. They've already used Reaper. And then Aid of Fallen can get back one of our Planeswalkers that dies to this creature. And we can also sack to the Reaper to draw an extra card before the Planeswalker dies. And I guess we'll use a Grizzly here, end of turn. Keep Sergeant in hand in case of a looting effects. Alright, so we're in pretty good shape. Although their opponent did get to keep the best card of three. So if they have an Epiphany, they get to maybe go off. It's not too bad. Obnixil is down. Sack it to the Reaper. So we've already used our mana for the Reaper. Let's uh, probably aid the Fallen first. Although there's no creatures in the graveyard yet. 
probably want to remedy that. So we can attack with Manticore Giants. Hope to make a trade. And then Ada Fallen can get back up Nixilus and whatever dies. Could also sack Giant, get back Giant to draw an extra card, but this seems fine. Plan first. And our opponent scoops it up. Sweet. Alright, well. We do have some pretty bad cards in our deck, but also a decent chunk that plays quite well. Triple Giant, a few looting effects, the Fairy's been pretty good. Open Ixilus has been quite good this game as well. Alright, so we're 3 and 2. It's gonna be a while before we actually get our gems back here for the event, but we've had fun. That's the important part. And this is a pretty great opening hand, although we're on the draw so you never know what happens. I guess it maybe doesn't work. I guess for Chandler you have to use a 5 mana to cast those spells. Alright, well, it's good to know. Since it's not from hand, and this only counts for cards in hand. That's funny. Let's start with Epiphany. And don't really want any of these. Honor, discarding, probably just a worm. Probably gonna end up casting redemption, so keeping counter spells in hand doesn't do much. Almost missed. Alright, so no planeswalkers in the graveyard to get back. So do we want to play the Manticore or the Grizzly? Probably want to play the Grizzly and then discard our hand. Guess we can Grizzly first. Statue. Can't reveal that one, sadly. So let's Redemption discarding our hand. Keep going off. Nixilus is pretty good. So I can discard the stealth mission. Just use this as a cantrip for now, I think. Probably should have targeted the 2-2 here instead. I think we just empty our hand now. Could also kill her on 2-2, I guess. Maybe that's fine. Should have done this first. Bolt bands. All right. Your bones will read as omens. 
Knowledge is not without. So here we can use the Grizzly end of turn. Hope our opponent doesn't go off. That's a pretty bad reveal. 12. So we have lethal if they don't play any creatures here, but it's pretty unlikely to work out. <laughs> Solar Blaze. Actually doesn't kill all that much. But still pretty effective. All right. Can discard the operative. Focus on what matters. The fairy bounce a giant we just played. I guess, yeah, we could have also bounced a globe. I forgot we could also bounce artifacts for a second. Yeah, bouncing globe would have been better. Alright, looks like we reached the bottom. So, 4, 12, 15. So I guess we kill them if they don't have anything off the Obnixil's draw. Seems fine. And I guess with the fairy and player opponent can't do anything at instant speed here. So they're dead. Sweet. And with the information of the top of our library, the Grizzly also gets quite a bit better. Alright, that was a pretty sweet uh, win there. So we're 4 and 2. Alright, what about his hands? I guess we'll keep. We have a redemption to discard useless stuff anyway. Hope this doesn't get countered. And then uh, Grizzly first, I guess. Take action. Do have him play the sergeant? I think I keep it in hand. Grizzly in the opponent's turn. Ah, it's too bad. Good Grizzly. And maybe keep something... Well, that's about the worst cards we could reveal since it would have been the best draw. But had we revealed like a, a bad creature, we could have maybe kept the Bond of Revival for later. There's the fairy. So we can bounce our own giant. We can bounce a token from the opponent. Probably bounce our own giant to try and keep going off. Despark the giant. Alright. Right so now I guess we bounce the token. Vito. I think we keep this one in hand. No good attacks. Pass the turn. So we're not in great shape, but we're also not too far behind. So anything could still happen. Plan. 
Nice reveal. And then I'm not sure if we're gonna Obnixilus our own creature or some of the opponents. They do have a Guard Mage which can threaten to pressure Obnixilus otherwise, but don't really want to let them draw extra cards. Well, Grizzly first. Nice. Wow, our opponent just concedes. That's an aggressive concession, but fair enough. What's the MVP card so far in the draft? Um, the fairy's been pretty good in combination with all the giants and globes we have, as it potentially draws multiple cards. Epiphany's probably one of the best cards in this format. So that's always great. The Giants themselves are great. Opnixil has been quite good as well. And then I've also been pleasantly surprised by Spark Reaper and Grizzly as mana sinks. Yeah, Statue has been decent as well. Like if you're on the draw, Statue sometimes is a little bit too slow. But if you're on the play, you can play it early, prevent the opponent from going off, and also prevent them from using the abilities on all their spells. Like the Reaper and the Grizzly, that's also pretty nice. So we can Globe, then Teferi, bounce the Globe. Play the Globe. Play the Grizzly. Don't have to worry about removal, thanks to Teferi. Oh, nice. I guess I'll take it. Pass a turn. Alright, that was a pretty decent first turn. Including making the opponent discard too. Imagine if we had a counterspell for that. Sadly we don't. Could have sacked something to the Reaper to try and draw Dovin's Veto. Not sure if that would have been worth it. I could Reaper in case we draw Blind Blast. But it's better to Grizzly. So I think I'll Grizzly instead. Sure. Alright, let's get rid of Ada Fallen. In case I get it back with like... Uh, the blue bond. Alright. Well, basically a turn one win. Alright, sweet, so we made our gems back. We're even making a small profit. Not our best hand so far, but probably still a keep. Alright, pretty fair opening so far. Nice. Let's see here. Would we rather have them counter Statue or Teferi? Probably Statue. I think I want to cantrip with Defiant Strike first, and I think Reaper is more beneficial than Worm. So I'll play the Reaper first in case we end up discarding Worm to a loot effect. Aid the Fallen could be quite good too. If uh, Teferi dies in a second here. Really 
Alright, interesting spot. I think we discard the worm, hold the honor for next turn, since our opponent's gonna probably kill one of our planeswalkers, we can sack to the Reaper and then get it back with aid. And I'm thinking honor is gonna be more useful later than the worm. And just say go for now. Could have sacked a token to keep looting, but it's actually pretty good against a stinger. How much of an advantage is going first? It is a pretty big deal. Makes cards like Godfair Statue a lot better, discard spells a lot better. So first things first, let's loot in case we draw a Dovin's Veto. Time Twist, probably better than Crocodile still, in case we draw a Giant at some point. And then we can aid, get back Worm and Teferi. Play the ferry. Bounce the globe. Play the globe. Discard probably the stinger. Right, those were two bad draws here, but. Should be fine. So I could sack to the Reaper or activate the Grizzly. I think I sacked to the Reaper. Could also sack the Giant to the Reaper and then bond it back. Maybe that's the play. Make him discard too. Pond back the giants. Play another giants. Uh, which creatures don't have summoning sickness? The token. And then we can time twist the giant as well to draw another card. Or we can time twist a planeswalker that's about to die. Let's go to combats. These attack, I don't think I trade the Reaper. Could have played a sergeant first, I guess. But I kinda wanna keep them in hand as discard fodder. So probably just pass. I've got a few options here between Reaper, Grizzly. Still have the time twist. Make sure not to go to end step so we can still attack with whatever we blink. But our opponent has seen enough. Sweet. Alright, well, I think that's going to conclude our Omniscience drafts as well as our stream for today. Nice seven wins. So the Red Bull tournament maybe didn't go according to plan but at least we kicked ass in the omniscience draft. All right, let's crack some packs. Ooh, nice. Nickel Bolas. And a finale of glory. All right. So, that's going to be it for me today. We'll be back with another stream on Monday. It's going to be the M20 Early Access event, which I'll be streaming as well, maybe doing a 24-hour stream, we'll see, and try out as many new decks as we can as we get access to these accounts with all the new cards from M20 unlocked, courtesy of Wizards of the Coast, of course. So lots to look forward to here. So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.
I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.